know that hypertension is a common public health problem worldwide affecting approximately 25.3% of the Indian population. Now the 8th Joint National Committee guidelines recommend initiating treatment of hypertension with one of the four agents that is the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, the angiotensin receptor blockers, calcium channel blockers or the thiazide type diuretics with a target blood pressure of less than 140 by 90. But there is something new that I will be discussing with you all today. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I am going to talk about a new plasma guided therapy for hypertensive patients. Most of the guidelines that have been published till date for hypertension, they overlook the underlying pathophysiological basis in deciding on the antihypertensives. Based on the renin levels, hypertension may be classified as high renin hypertension, low renin hypertension as well as the normal renin hypertension. The study in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India examined the renin levels in a hypertensive population and assessed the effect of renin-guided antihypertensive management on blood pressure control. The study that I'm talking about was a single-center prospective cohort study where the subjects with primary hypertension aged between 20 to 60 years and were also on antihypertensive medications, all these were included. The initial blood pressure was recorded and subsequently all the antihypertensive medicines that they were on were discontinued. After two weeks, the second blood pressure was recorded and plasma renin assay sample was also collected. All the patients were restarted on the previous antihypertensives and further modifications of medications was performed based on their plasma renin assay results. So diuretics and calcium channel blockers were used in low renin hypertension patients while the beta blockers and the anti-renin drugs were used on the high renin hypertension patients. The study included close to 918 patients with hypertension and 896 cases were finally analyzed. So of these patients, 32% had low renin hypertension, 45.98 had high renin hypertension, while 22% had normal renin hypertension. So the number of hypertensives used in patients also reduced with a reduction in patients on 2, 3 or 4 drugs. So the researchers concluded that the renin guidance therapy is definitely useful for improving the blood pressure control in both controlled as well as uncontrolled hypertensive patients and also in reducing the number of antihypertensive drugs. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.